Hey guys, it's Kirsty here. Uh, today I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, I'm gonna do a quick little uh, tutorial or explanation uh, on how I do something. Uh, I recently got an ask from an uh, anonymous uh, asking if I would mind doing a, a quick tutorial or an explanation on a, how a, a doodle I posted was done with the lasso tool. Um, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm not good at explaining how I do things because um, most of the time it's purely trial and error. Uh, I just try things out. If it doesn't work, then I try to do it a different way. It's just, it's a lot of experimentation and messing around. Um, but the lasso tool thing, I actually use it quite a lot in my lineless stuff. Um, and yeah, uh, this is the, uh, the picture in question. Oh wait, that's the full uh, image. I'll probably put it up on on screen uh, somewhere. I mean, here's the, the finished version here, um, this is the, the one in topic. You can tell it's a doodle because like, there's lots of wobbly lines, <laughs> it's uh, there's, there's, yeah, it's not by any means uh, perfect or, uh, it's quite messy. But um, I thought I would just take the sketch and do a very quick example of uh, how I do things. So, uh, say if we take a uh, Lynn here, um, the main thing, at least for me, is I use a lot of layers. So, I mean, you have your, your sketch first, but if you're doing something quick, you don't want to be, like, too fussy about, like, the shapes and stuff like that. Like, you just kind of trace the, uh, the main part of your sketch with the lasso tool and I mean I suppose that I probably should have mentioned actually in Clip Studio there is a tool called lasso fill so when you you know do your, your lassoing uh, it actually fills it in for you but you could still like get the same effect if you used a gen uh, generic lasso tool and uh, let's see if I just do it again just like outline the bits that you want to fill in and then you just get like the paint bucket or something and then just fill it in and then there you go. So it's pretty much the, the same thing. Um, so you know using that effect um, you can some people might prefer to do this underneath the sketch but uh, most of the time when I'm doing like this I do it over depending on what part of the sketch I'm doing and if I need to see underneath any layers I'll either just make them not visible or I'll change the opacity slightly uh, so I can still see where everything is roughly. <laughs> um, yeah so if you do that and when you're clipping layers like for shading and stuff you know just like do something very simple like this. Uh, this is actually not very good. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, you get the general idea. A lot of it is trial and error and seeing what looks good to you. Um, it, so it's basically that, but with like every single layer. So that's like a basic skin layer. And then on top of that, I'll do like, I don't know, the, the black around the eyes. And then on top of that, I'll do the... Uh, the actual eye filling which will be black temporarily that was really wobbly whoops uh yeah that's uh that's obviously not gonna be perfect because i'm doing this in a in a rush <laughs> but i mean you know fill those bits in very quickly whatever da, 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 da. Uh, wait no that's not what i want Oh no, that's wobbly again. Ugh. So yeah, you kind of get where I'm going with this, hopefully. Um, it's just a lot of messing around and putting layers on top of layers. That was absolutely terrible. Um, 
So you might end up with a lot of layers in your file, because that's usually what ends up in mine. I mean, if you actually, uh, no, that's the original. Uh, if you see this, I've actually got each character in its own folder. Um, and in each folder, like say for Amber, you can see I've got uh, a lot of layers for each uh, <laughs> each thing. There's like the back of the hair, and then there's the skin, and then there's uh, I think all the face layers are just on top of the, the skin in this. Uh, and then there's like the eyes, and part of the clothes, and then more parts of the clothes, and you know, going into the, the front bit of the hair, so... Yeah, it, it, it might take a little while, even if it's like a quick doodle. It depends on how much detail you want to put into the, you know, the, the the designs and stuff. Like the hair or the eyes, like how much shading you want to do and stuff like that. Like if you're not that bothered and you want it to be quite flat, then it, it won't take very long at all. But um, yeah, it's, it's not, it's pretty straightforward. Like once you get the hang of it, I know like saying that it's pretty straightforward if you're feel a bit intimidated you're probably like oh no it's quite difficult but uh, honestly like I developed uh, the kind of lasso tool thing pretty early on sometimes I won't even use the lasso tool I'll partly use it and then I'll mix it up with just doing bits of the uh, you know with a, a generic pen just to like maybe fix up a line that I think is a bit wonky or something you know just to clean it up a bit and make it a bit less uh, messy. Um, I don't know if there's much more I can go into on it to be honest. It's quite a simple uh, a simple method. Um, I know uh, the, the person who asked actually like said I could do a simple text explanation but I think I would find it more difficult to explain it uh, through text than I would through showing I guess. Um, I'm more of a a visual person as opposed to showing it. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a little bit of a, a mishmash with the lasso tool. The lasso tool, you can usually tell if I just use the lasso tool that it's there's probably bits that stick out and uh, you want to like maybe fix them a bit. But yeah, uh, you can basically do the same thing that I'm doing with a normal lasso tool. You just have to make sure you fill in with the paint bucket. Uh, once you're finished and stuff like that. Um, it really depends on... I, I don't know how it works in other software so <laughs> uh, I'm afraid I can't give too much insight into how to do it. It really depends on your own preferences and the software that you're using and what its capabilities are. But there are plenty of ways to do these things so you can mess around and find your own way of doing it and whatever works works. Uh, in the meantime, I really hope this helped in some way. <laughs> if not, hey, I, I tried my best. Um, if there are any questions, you can leave them in comments or, you know, uh, send me a message or whatever and I'll maybe go into something more in depth. Um, but for now, as I said, I can't think of anything else to stretch on this. I can't stretch this out too long because it's really, there's really not much to it in essence. So, uh, thanks so much for watching, and uh, thank you Anonymous for your question and your compliment, and I hope this helped some of you. Uh, and I know I say uh, a lot, I just, I'm, I'm talking purely like with no scripting whatsoever, so I don't know what I'm doing. It's been a, a bit of a, a straining month. So, I'm a little bit scatterbrained. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! I just saluted there and I don't know why nobody can see me doing that. That was a bit dumb. Hey guys, hope you like this video and I hope it helps some of you. If you want to see more videos like this one, like tutorials and stuff, please leave a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates. I know I'm still on a hiatus, so updates are still a little bit sparse, but if you want to support me during my hiatus, you can buy my recently released 2017 Patreon art pack. Woo! 
on Gumroad. And as well as that, there's also a free My Little Pony art book that I created uh, over a year ago. Uh, you don't have to pay anything for that, but if you want to leave a little tip, you know, just from the goodness of your own heart, so you can do that too. Uh, you can also support me on Patreon, Coffee, my store, and my Redbubble. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, all the other places that I happen to be at. <laughs> uh, so, you know, check all that stuff out. All links mentioned are in the description below, so be sure to read that. And I'll see all you guys in the next video! Bye!